No! It shall not be! Danger. Unfiltered sunlight. What's he doing? It's scorching. Oh. Thwarted by a quirk of time. No, I meant, I suppose it's time I should be going. Oh. Time that I left. Yes, well, you could be right. Time for you to go. Before I go. Oh, what is this time? Doctor. Well, you must I, go. Before I go, I'd just like There's to no say. There's no point, Mel. Look, hang around wasting time. No, I'm not going until I've said my piece. I just want There's to no say. There's no time, Mel. Oh, all right, you win. I do. I usually do. I'm going now. That's right, yes, you're going. <laughs> you're gone for ages. You're already gone. You're still here. You just arrived. I haven't even met you yet. It all depends on who you are and how you look at it. Strange business, time. Goodbye, Doctor. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mel. <laughs> Think about me when you're living your life, one day after another. All in a neat pattern. Think about the homeless traveller in his old police box. His days like crazy paving. Who said anything about home? I've got much more crazy things to do yet. Well, we've officially renamed my new spacecraft the Nosferatu 2, 2. Just crack a bottle of ye old carbonated fruit alcohol over the bowels and next stop sunny Perivale, eh, Sprung? Suppose so. Have you got room for another one? You, Perivale bound as well? I was thinking of going a bit further. Uh, how much further? How much further are you going? Hang on, half a millisecond. Excellent, yes. Mel can keep you out of trouble, Blitz. And that means no more dodgy deals. Thanks a billion, Doctor. <laughs> Ace doesn't have anywhere to go. France is an idyllic place, Paravel. It's got lush green fields and a village blacksmith. Doctor, and... she comes from the 20th century. Oh. Come on, Mel, extract your digit. I'll send you a postcard. But I don't have an address. Oh, I'll put it in a bottle and throw it into space. It'll reach you in time. Ace, where do you think you're going? Perivo. Ah, yes, but by which route? The direct route with Glitz or the scenic route? Well, do you fancy a quick trip round the 12 galaxies and then back to Perivale in time for tea? Ace! But there are three rules. One, I'm in charge. Whatever you say, Professor. Two, I'm not the professor, I'm the doctor. Whatever you want. And the third? Well, I'll think up the third by the time we get back to Perryvale. <laughs> Oh, a very touching uh, end to uh, Dragonfire there. You could really see the the Doctor's affection, couldn't you, for uh, Mel and in his sort of, you know, slightly uh, crotchety uh, response to her leaving and uh, then giving her a hug, which I don't think happened many times in the classic series. I'm trying to remember whether the Doctor hugged any other companions just just before they left, uh, possibly Joe Grant, uh, but I can't think of any others in the classic series. I mean, the new series is littered with them, <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure they're few and far between in the classic series. Yes, Mel going off to join uh, Sabalon Glitz and his adventures. I thought that was a very, uh, very beautiful moment, actually, between... Uh, the Doctor and Mel. 
wasn't that uh, gruesome, that clip of Kane disintegrating at the start there? I thought that was a brilliant um, special effect, actually. Uh, and then, of course, Sophie Aldred joining the TARDIS as the next companion, Ace. Um, of course, written by Ian Briggs, um, who would later go on to develop the companion of Ace uh, in a way that a companion hadn't been uh, portrayed uh, previously, uh, as we'll see in the next uh, two seasons. I do have a vague recollection of that scene when uh, they were all gathered in Kane's sort of control room, an odd sort of glimmer in my child's mind's eye um but certainly the first sort of full season i recall seeing is the following season on television but somewhere back there in the realms of my memory i've got just a vague glimmer of this one um just a fleeting glimmer maybe i just caught a, a clip um just by chance when i was having my dinner as a, I suppose would have been a seven-year-old. Oh, those were the days. But it's a lovely story, I think, to conclude uh, uh, season 24. And to wrap up Mel's story, um, I, shame she was uh, there so briefly, but of course she's had a, a whole new life uh, thanks to Big Finish audio productions. 